Welcome back everyone. Welcome back to Let's Play Object in Space. We're uh, just bought a new ship and we're ready to undock from uh, the Leo Gasport, I think it's called. Because we have our first mission. Our first real mission. We have to get 24 hydrogen to Crassus Harbor. In this system, it's 180 credits, which is, you know, not bad for a start. Let's, uh, let's find it. Crassus Harbor. There it is. Let's plot our course to there and engage. Uh, now these are nebulous, as you can see if you remember if you watched my first episode of this. These look a lot different from, uh, from the little shuttle we had. These are, you know, a little more basic looking. And also the, 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 the graphics for the ships and such are a little bit more basic. I kind of like that. So, we're going to Crassus Harbor, and in some systems, a direct route is not always possible, because it'll turn out that there's asteroid belts and such. You can go in a straight route, but it's not advisable. I'm not really sure why this nebula is so much brighter than these ones, though. Does that mean anything? We'll see. Anyway, we do have four news over here, you can see. We've got no new messages, no drafts, and nothing in the inbox, but there's four new news. So, let's go find that out. Oh, yeah. Let me also explain this. We've got our uh, total battery power on the left, and then on the right we've got either charging, which it is now, or discharging, which will be in the red. But right now we're not really using any extra power, so uh, we're f we have a fully charged battery pack and we're still charging. Um, so we have plenty of power. So let's see, we're inside this nebula almost now. Let's see what it's gonna say. Nothing. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, there we go. Nebula, dark, density, 3%. Okay. Right, so... There, th our three batteries are fully charged. Let's go to the news here. So, call for outer rim traders. A plentiful network of goods is readily available in the central systems. But what about those not inside the jump gate network? Diwali, Galileo, Kansa... These systems need our attention too, and there's plenty of money to be made in the bargain. A joint statement made by the Galilean Command in Diwalinese Republic has requested that more traders in the central systems consider equipping their ships with jump drives and expanding their reach and their pro profits. We understand that this can be a dangerous crossing through uninhabited systems, said Senator Mary Franklin from the Galilean Command, but with the range of personal defensive modules available today, cautious enough pilots have no problems hauling huge amounts of cargo and reaping the rewards. Security experts have advised pilots keen to venture outside the jump space, uh, jump gate network to travel in EM con mode wherever possible and not to leave the safety of the central systems without purchasing stock countermeasures just in case. Uh, yeah, that's because of the uh, uh, torpedoes. General pirate warning. A general pirate warning has been issued by Leon Aerospace today following an incident in quadrant D of the Leo systems. Defense of public works. We're not going to be reading everything, of course. Uh, but it is very interesting if you're, you know, playing this yourself and are interested in some fluff. Let's press space to center on our ship. Now you can see there's a lot of uh, other traffic over here. And all of these have the IFF on, which we have as well. If you don't have your IFF on, sometimes you will see over here that the authority vessels are uh, reprimanding vessels that don't have the IFF on, which is usually pirates or smugglers. And they're trying to uh, fly quietly. Now, I haven't explained this little bar. This is the stealth meter. Right now, we're fully exposed and visible. Uh, you know, maximum visibility because we have IFF active and everything on. But if I press this button over here, we will in initiate EM con mode. Which I'm not exactly sure what it stands for, but it basically means it'll... Um, Disable some of the modules to make your ship more more stealthy. Now that includes the reactor, which has some of the highest emissions, theoretical 80 and 100, actual 125.6 decibel watts. I think those are meant to be watts. Actually, no, these are watts. These are watts. I'm not sure of them. Decibel something. Anyway, uh, you can see that this this will be on EMCon off. The batteries will be on, and all the navigation sensor and helm systems, the main drive, communications will be off, and the RCS will be on. So right now, there's not there's not a lot of change we can do. There's an unknown thingy here, and I believe it is moving. 
No, it's not. Okay, it was a false positive. You will get those every now and then. You will get false positives that the computer will, or the sensors will detect, but as the computer tries to uh, analyze them, I suppose, it will just remove them from your view because they are false positives. So we are detecting something there. Emerge. Okay, never mind. Right, so we're almost at Crassus Harbor. 40 more seconds to get there. Like I said, everything is in real time, but you can speed time up up to twice. And it, it, it helps quite a lot. And I do like the fact that the ships, you know, even though they do have a maximum speed, which is not realistic, of course, uh, and, you, and you get up to that speed very quickly, the burns are, you know, you don't have to have a burn on for a long time. I do like the fact that you are just drifting through space and then you have to turn around and decelerate so you don't have any forward thrusters okay so we are we are now docked uh we have no emails or anything let's open the doors get off the ship uh and search for the contracts thingy oh there's someone there but let's do the contracts first so here's the contracts we brought the hydrogen and we're gonna get 180 credits. Let's do, deliver the contract. There we go. Lovely. We can also buy licenses. The largest distillery in the Apollo cluster, based on Crassus and Leo, ships spirits almost everywhere. Let's buy that. It's only 100 credits, and it will give us new contracts to take. Now, I'm not going to take contract just yet, because I want to uh, talk to that guy over there, because they can sometimes give you uh, contracts as well spirits now my biggest challenge right now is i have no idea what is expensive where so this does nicely tell you that this is at market average for example so you would you know it's best to buy things that are below market average but i don't really know where they're required um so let's go talk to this guy over here usually if you can talk to someone they'll be right in the middle and of course if you hover over them they will have a slightly blue hue scott de la vinci you look new. You on the boat that you just turn, uh, that just turned up? That's me. Great. You the owner or just operator? Both. She's my boat. Really? Nice. Owner operators are my favorite. Beholden to nobody. Free to play their own game. I'm the same way. Or at least I was back when I still had a ship. Name's Scott De La Vinci. I gotta ask you something. Yeah, and of course, everything will be, you know, uh, stereotypical accents. Well, I suppose that's not really a stereotypical Italian accent. I'm not really good at those accents. So, look, I'm in a bind. Trying to broker a little deal here, but my ship's in the shop and I'm in need of a go-between. Most of my friends are off-world and unavailable, so I thought I'd try and recruit the help of a fellow freelancer. Should I go on, or are you about to tell me to go jump out an airlock? Well, maybe not quite so harsh, but the second one. I'm busy with my own stuff. I'm happy to hear you out, but no promises. Okay, cool, cool. So, I don't know if you've been paying attention, but our smart-ass Chancellor Tammy Black spearheaded an effort to outlaw sand. S sorry, sand? I'm not familiar. Really? That's quite surprising, actually. Now I'm curious about where your accent is from, but uh, time's precious here. Suffice to say, it's a recreational drug. Legal across the whole cluster, but not here all of a sudden. All of a sudden, what happened? Yeah, some potential issues with... Look, it doesn't matter. It's still safer than smashing liquor on a daily basis. And that's never been outlawed. Anyway, I don't want to discuss all this shit. Just something that matters anymore. Not something that matters anymore. But see, we had a big shipment sent here. Ready to sell and BAM! Now it's illegal. And you're trying to sell it to me now? It's contraband? That's a problem. Sure is. I now have thousands of credits worth of product I can't legally sell here. Already uh, gonna lose money, but I don't want to lose all of it when some border patrol not finds it, confiscates it and on sells it to some mate of his claiming he destroyed it. So I need someone to help me liaise with a buyer outside of Leo where it's still legal. Uh, what do you need me to do? Great, so it's simple. I need you to talk to a contact at the Cornerstone Bar on Port Crawford in the Tega Star System. Her name's Sam. You can't miss her. Blonde girl. Natural one too. Or so she claims. I go myself, but I need to stay here with the stuff. 
Tell her I have a thousand keys for her at 20 per key. Now, I honestly just want to get rid of it. I'll go as low as 15 if I have to, but if you can get her to go for 20, I'll throw in another 400 credits for you on top of the first 1200. Okay, what do I do once she's agreed? She'll give you a location. You bring that to me at main concourse at Prefect Outpost. Don't risk comms or anything, just tell me in person. Then I can get our stuff moving to meet her. I'll pay you once you give me the coordinates and proof you spoke to her. Proof? She'll know what that means. Makes sense. I'll meet you on Prefect Outpost then. Great. See you there, owner operator. Okay, so we've got a mission. And the reason why I wanted to speak to him first is now we can see we have to go to the Tega system to Port Crawford. So if we can, we can get a contract that goes there, that would be perfect. Uh, so none of them go there. Columbus, Bola, Maru, Magella, Penitent Commercial. Yeah, that's uh, unfortunately none of them go there. Port Crawford, Tega system. Ah, darn it. I was kind of hoping some would. Um. Yeah, none, none of them even go to uh, Tega system. Jella, Aru. So if you look at where we are, we are in Leo, and we need to go to Tega system. And of course, every jump will cost us at the moment. Um, oh well. We won't take any jobs here then. I could buy some spirits, I suppose, but mm, not for now. Actually, wait a second. This one doesn't even require a jump, but it's 46 credits. That's that's just... No, no, no. I'm not taking that because that's as much as I'll pay in uh, docking fees. Not interested, thanks. So I guess we're going to go empty-handed here. Uh, I do want to see if I could buy a jump drive, though. That would be great. Oh, they're quite expensive. They're way too expensive. Darn it. I'm not really sure what this means. So this one is brand new, right? But this one is defense? What 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 what's that supposed to mean? Is it like does it charge faster? Spin up time is the same, see? Everything is the same. Range is very bad, but this one is brand new and this one is more expensive because it's defense. Does it take more of a beating? I have no idea. Anyway, we don't have no enough for this, unfortunately. So we'll have to make some money first. So, uh, let's get out of here. Let's pay the fees a hundred credits. Ouch. Let's request the permission to undock. We've got three. Uh, let's download them ourselves. Okay, so let's undock. And we need to go to the Tega system. So as soon as we undock, there we go. Leo Tega jump gate, that's where we need to go. And yeah, like I said, right now, because we don't have a uh, jump drive, we'll have to be using jump gates, and they cost monies, of course. Okay, let's go to Mill. United Leon Space Enterprises new contracts. Your recent actions have impressed us, and as a result, we have the pleasure of informing you that additional contract opportunities are being made available to you. Excellent. Thank you for your recent completion of a contract. We offered to transport goods from Lago Gasport to Crassus Harbor. Ah, and the license we bought. Thank you for signing up with us. We will now ensure contracts are accessible to you for all trading stations where we have a business presence. Okay. So what about news? Angola attack thwarted. Oh, Angoda, no, Angola. Angoda on lockdown. Giant gasworks colony recently uncovered a network of explosives. Oh, El Camino prepared to be scanned, I think he said. Yeah, that's the Al side over here, Authority, which is going to scan us. Attention freighter El Camino prepared to be scanned. And of course, because we have no contraband, we'll be fine. Come on. Are you scanning us or not? There we go. 
Scans are clean. Travel safely, El Camino. Okay, let's go back to the news over here. Earthgate. Apollo's tragic mistake. The Apollo Earth Authority nearly drove this entire cluster into the ground with its reckless obsession with the Earthgate, and we're still paying the cost. You can feel it in colonies Apollo-wide. Housing stretched to its limits, the Leon and Magellan empires are uh, perpetually on the brink of conflict, and we still have people on the outer rim without access to basic heal uh, health care as pirates continue to terrorize our shipping lanes. At the heart of our now decades-long economic downturn is the bullish insistence by the long-defunct Apollo Earth Authority that Earthgate was a project worth funding to the tune of billions of credits. Our connection with Earth was seen by many as the most vital task of the new colonists here. To that end, the authorities the colonists ought to have bestowed upon the AAA waned at a crucial time of rapid expansion. Without its dogged insistence upon Taxing, uh, taxing its colonies to continue work on Earthgate, the pressing need felt by each of the colonies to push for self-determination would never have emerged. The tensions between nations could have been avoided if the AEA had cared more about its people than about its gate. Apollo was always meant to be a singularly governed cluster. Regardless of how marvelous an achievement it might be to com uh, complete the gate and reconnect with our earthbound heritage, the decaying earth gate superstructure lies dormant in Sagan's lights, a symbol of our infract, uh, fractious nature and a monument to every war which has happened since the AEA collapsed in 19A. So that's pretty bad news. Artem Kovalensky steps down. A letter from the desk, Professor Artem Kovalensky, today confirmed the retired 91-year-old professor's intention to step down from his last remaining connection to the science world, his seat on the board of Sagan Research. Artem is a dear friend and inspiring to us all here at SR. I think we just uh, slowed down for the gate. Yeah, docking. Meyer Scientific Campus embodies our collective great quest for knowledge, and it is com... com what was that? Oh, I think uh, that was because we got another message. Let's see what we got. Let's wait until they're through. Urgent transport job. I am in urgent need of passage from Penitent Commercial to Columbus Central Trading. I can pay 750 credits for the job. I realize this is an excessive fee, but hopefully this indicates my haste. I'm certain many ships will be interested, so expect this to be a limited time offer. I'll wait the potential ferries at the airlocks. Uh, from Penitent Commercial at Columbus Central Trading. What the heck is that? What? Wait, what? Oh, I cannot see it now. Where the heck is that? Wait, let me... Let me undock first. Oh, Penitent Commercial. There we go. Yeah, we, we can do that. Where do they want to go? To Columbus Central Trading. Yeah, let's, uh... Let's go there. Jeez. This is an urgent request. Okay, let, let's let's go to Penitent Commercial. Damn, we were just there, pretty much. Oh, see, there, there's asteroids over there, definitely. Wow, we actually went... Well, we just skirted them. Okay, so fortunately, you don't have to pay for the jump gates if you just uh, dock and undock, if you don't use their stuff. So let's get over there. Hopefully, we're first in line. Aya Grant. This is an urgent request for any ships in the Leo system to fill in for a waylight contractor for Sterling Industrial. Significant pay boost due to urgency. Cargo contract. Penitent commercial. Oh, so we're... Yeah, Sterling Industries. Tega system. That's where we need to go. Six hours from pickup. Reply to this email if you're available. First responder will take the contract. Okay, we'll, we'll reply to that. Uh, but not just now, because I don't know where the... Uh, the passenger wants to go. So let's speed things up. We'll go to Penitent Commercial. Pick up the uh, passenger. It, it almost seemed... Wait a second. It almost seemed like they just wanted to go in system. Columbus Central Trading. Where's Columbus Central Trading? There's stuff here. Columbus Central Trading. There it is. What the hell? Why so much money? There is no way we can get this one. 
so quickly. That would be great. 750 credits minus about 200 for uh, docking fees at Penitent Commercial and uh, over at Columbus. That would be great. Okay, turn around. Let me uh, slow down the time progression. There we go. Yeah, you can see that now. We're, right now we're discharging because the reactor is off, but uh, also we're on shore power, so batteries are being charged again. Let's wait for the pressures to equalize. Let's find that passenger. There they are, I think. Are you here because of my uh, message? I'm in need of immediate transport to Columbus. Can you take me there? I am. 750 credits to take you to Columbus. Is that correct? Very much correct. Yes. Can you take me? I'm aboard. Next stop, Columbus. Good. Good. I'll head on in. Payment on arrival. No detours. Okay, let's let's see if we're extra lucky if something goes to that station via contract. Probably not. Yeah, nothing goes there. Um, Maru, seconds lights. Okay, so nothing, nothing interesting there. No licenses. Oh, hello. Hi there, stranger. Well, oh, he's Japanese. Welcome aboard. Hi yourself. Are you the official greeting party? Official? Ha. <laughs> nah, I just happen to be here and ferret like being friendly. The name's Aki. Aki Hatsagawa. <laughs> this your first time here? Yeah, it is. Ah, uh, well, then I guess I kind of am the official welcoming party. Tell me, do you feel welcome here? Sure, I guess. Oh, yeah? How welcome do you feel? Uh, pff, uh, pretty welcome. Well, then I guess you're welcome. See what I did there? I see what you did there. <clears throat> so, yes, anyway, what do you do with yourself? I'm not quite sure yet. I have my own ship. You? Oh, I'm a pirate. Medium freighters, mostly. I don't have one fixed ship, so I fly around a lot. It's a bit of a steering wheel for hire sort of thing. It pays the bills. And I get to travel a lot, which is nice. Yeah, I'm sure not, not all Japanese <laughs> talk like that. Uh, that sounds nice. I should be going, though, I'm afraid. Busy work to attend to. Oh, you're a pilot? Got any tips you could share with me? Sure. I've got plenty of advice. I've been doing this stuff for years. I happen to love talking about it. Hmm, let me see. How experienced a pilot are you exactly? Uh, I've been around the traps a few times, but I'm still figuring it all out. Okay, cool. So you probably already know how an autopilot works and how to use basic manual rotation and acceleration and stuff, so I'll assume those are a given. The main trick to it is to watch your power consumption. Those two vertical bars in the middle of your bridge, the one in the left is your total power, the one on the right is the current power gain and loss. Everything you do choose a power, you're always gaining it back. But if you do too many things at once, some of those things you're asking your ship to do will get cancelled or go unfulfilled. So. Like, half of being a good pilot is actually being a good engineer. If you keep running out of power, see how much power your main engine and RCS use up. Compare that to the amount of power your reactor makes and the number of batteries you have. If you're having power issues, one of those could definitely use some love. Thank you, uh, much appreciated. No problem at all. Like I said, I love talking about piloting stuff. It's my dream job. I should run though. So play around with the power on your ship, do some turns, some starts, some stops, and the like. And watch those vertical powers bars in the middle. It's all about managing those. Once you get an idea of how many maneuvers your specific ship can currently make without running out of power, you'll know how conservative you need to be when getting from one place to another. It's all about planning your routes well and keeping an eye on power. It's a balancing act, but one you can get really good at. This is really helpful. Thank you. No problem at all, Captain. I'll send you a message with some tips too. So you always got them handy when you're out there and might need them. Great, thanks a lot. I'll see you around. See you around the traps, Captain. Well, that was nice of him. Um, we have, like I said, no passengers. Nope. And there's really nothing here to buy. Because I don't know if it would sell. Okay, so let's let's just get back. Anyway. We have a passenger now, we'll have to pay the fees and request permission to go, and I'll see you next time. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.